One man, one mission. To rid the world of chronic anxiety once and for all. The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek, shares his personal transformation from living a life filled with overwhelming worry to becoming a full-fledged positivity machine. A leading authority in generalized anxiety, Dennis gets to the truth of your mental health challenges and sets you on a path to transforming each and every area of your life. Here he is, the one and only, The Anxiety Guy. My friends, welcome to episode number 235. You're listening to the Anxiety Guy podcast, and I'm your host, Dennis Simsek. Today we're discussing how to worry less during hard times. And I'm sure we can all agree that we're going through hard and challenging times right now. Very, very important podcast episode. Before I get into it, know that this podcast episode is brought to you by my latest book that just came out on Amazon. Begin your transformation. Walk the path of healing today. Head on over to Amazon, look up The Anxiety Guy, and begin reading and studying the book F Coping, Start Healing Today. Warriors, it's true. We're going through challenging times right now. We're trying to figure out what's right and what's wrong. And right now, this moment, could be the very moment you need in order for you to become who you want to become. Our perceptions are important. And so I present to you five very important keys that you can begin practicing right now during these hard times so that you can worry less and focus on you more so that you can grow. You can grow mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. It's all about growth right now during this time. The first thing that I want you to practice is practice letting go of perfectionism. During these hard times, it can be very easy to look to do things in a very perfect manner. Therefore, being in line with our subconscious conditioning that says if we don't do things in a perfect manner, then we are not worthy of love or anything else. Forget that stuff. Practice letting go of things you consistently looked to control. Warrior, There is no better time than now to find inner peace and to have a voice. The second thing is practice saying no. People pleasing may be a habit for you, but it's time friends and family did their own dirty work and you focused your attention back onto you. Saying no isn't easy all the time. We want to cooperate. We want to feel connected to others. But we don't want to sacrifice our own inner peace for that sake. We don't want that to happen. So I want you to look deep within you and say, you know what? Am I in fact in this people-pleasing cycle? And am I sacrificing myself in order to please others? You must practice saying no starting today, and you must practice saying yes to your inner needs starting today. The third thing is you must build your spiritual connection with Source. There is an unconscious energy operating in your body right now. The same energy that rejuvenated and replenishes within nature. Your job is to look to connect at a deeper level with this source and allow yourself to step out of programmed beliefs by others from your past. What a beautiful world you can live in when you simply learn to let go and find connection with that side of you, that big huge part of you. Some may call it God, some call it source, some call it superconscious mind, whatever it may be just to say thank you. 
And just so you can build your relationship with this unconscious side of you that takes care of your heartbeat, your digestive system, your circulatory system, all the systems in your body. Warrior, it's time to question the beliefs that were conditioned into you over the years. Can you imagine questioning these things? Can you imagine saying, what I've believed for so long could potentially be false? It could be one person's opinion. Is it mine? Is it someone else's? It's your job to start taking your mind back and not allowing others to dictate what you believe. The next thing to understand when it comes to worrying less during hard times is you must use the adrenaline that comes with worry for productive purposes. Not only does this create good habits, it creates an association around adrenaline being a time for positive habits. So many times when people feel that adrenaline arising within them, they get frantic and they begin misinterpreting their symptoms. Next thing you know, their future is doom and gloom. But instead, when you are faced with some extra energy, some adrenaline, and you feel it showing up, you can begin doing something, moving your body in some way, doing anything, whatever it takes so that you can create an association that says adrenaline equals good rather than adrenaline equals bad. There's so many people out there that continue to talk themselves out of things that they need to do for themselves. This is wrong. You must stop talking yourself out of things that you need to do for yourself or else you're going to regret it in the future. Aren't you already? And so we must take a real good look at our habits right now during this time of isolation and ask ourselves, are these serving me or are these hurting me long term? You may feel like doing something that is excitable feels good in the moment, but I can promise you, your system is working overdrive. It's working so hard to keep you healthy, and yet you're doing all the things that continue to stimulate you, therefore causing you to feel more anxiety. This is not right. So when you feel that adrenaline rush, or even that fear arising, you can reinterpret it and say, you know what, this has a loving intention behind it, and I can use this adrenaline in some kind of productive way instead. The final thing is less Wi-Fi, less devices, more play, more creativity. Warrior, it's so easy to get stagnant on social media and frantic over the news. Instead, play more and do things you normally wouldn't do. Open up to the child side within you. Write the book you always wanted to. Stop looking to become excitable through outside means and look to fulfill your true purpose right now. As I mentioned earlier, this is an opportunity. Stop wasting your time doing things that keep you in a fight, flight, and freeze state. Start doing things that promote inner peace and deeper levels of thinking. Because if you continue to allow the world to lead you, it's going to lead you in a very frantic and bad place. You must do your own thinking. And in order for that to happen, you must begin shifting your habits right now so that you can worry less and thrive more. Remember, Isolation can be just what you need if you use this time wisely. Remember that you are more than anxiety. Head on over to Amazon today, pick up the book F Coping Start Healing, and walk the path with me. I love you so very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thanks for being an important part of the Anxiety Guy podcast community. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a positive rate and review. 
If you're searching for further support on your road to recovery from anxiety, head over to anxietyexit.com and take part in the powerful End the Anxiety program based around the CBT model. If you're searching for a more one-on-one approach, you can sign up now for personal coaching sessions with Dennis via Skype. Remember, you are more than anxiety. See you in the next episode.